Hello, this is Angelia with uh, today's Bible reading. Hopefully this is working. We had a little technical difficulties, but it looks like it's working now. <laughs> today's Bible reading comes from 2 Peter 3, the coming day of the Lord. Know this first of all, that in the last days, mockers will come with their mocking. Um, and we know that already, don't we? Um, you know, a lot of people make fun of, you know, Christians um and you know anybody who you know is trying to spread the word you know you, you're a joke you know i've seen and heard of uh things people have said and joked about me and you know whatever <laughs> following after their own lusts so you know that's what they're doing uh they want to be mean and mock people and make fun of people so that's what they do they enjoy it and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Um, because, you know, uh, they don't believe it. So they're wanting to know, prove it. You know, just like in the old days, people would say to Jesus, show us a sign. You know. <coughs> For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all continues just as it was from the beginning of creation. So they don't believe it. Um, they think it's all, you know, a fairy tale and... You know, nothing's going to come of it. For when they maintain this, it escapes their notice that by the word of God, the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water and by water. Um, so, you know, they kind of overlook at the fact that, you know, God created all this. You know, they might believe that it was just evolution, you know, or, you know, randomness that it made it happen. Um, through which our world at that time was destroyed, being flooded with water. So God destroyed everything by flooding it with water. So, you know, he made it all come back again. He made the plants to grow, the, you know, waters to recede, and the water animals to go in the water, and the land animals to stay on the land, and the people to repopulate the earth. But by his word, the present heavens and earth are being reserved for fire. So, the next destruction of this earth is going to be by fire. Kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men and women. So, you know, in the end, they're going to get burnt up. But do not let this one fact escape your notice beloved that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years and I don't believe that's accurate you know that's an example that Peter put out there because that's kind of you know he didn't know about eons and millennia and things of that nature but uh, I think one day of God is probably more like a millions millions of years <laughs> of hours you know because he did this on this day and this and this and there was a gap in, like, if the dinosaurs were around for millions of years, and the scientific proof is that they were, um, you know, the Earth is not just X thousand years old. There are people who believe this. I think that's kooky for Cocoa Puffs um, because we have carbon dating, and it says the this there was millions of years a gap here. So, you know, I don't think it's literal. You know, Peter just put that out there because that was kind of what he knew. You know, uh, Peter probably never had the occasion to have to count the millions or know what eons and millennia and things of that were. Um, but uh, I think uh, with God, one day is millions of years. So, you know, he's a lot <laughs> bigger and knows a lot more than we do. So, and a thousand years, like one day. Um, and like I say, I think it's, it's more like millions of years for God is one day. And some people say that's why the dinosaurs ended, that uh, he rested on the day, and then when he came back to do the man, man the dinosaurs kind of overrun the earth. He was like, oh, well, we got to flick this asteroid down there and take care of them so the man can inherit the earth. <laughs> the Lord is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness. Um, so, you know, because God has a plan, and because one of his days is probably millions of years, um, he's not being slow. He knows when this is going to happen. We don't know. And, uh, you know, he knows what people he's creating and 
when the time needs to come. So, But is patient towards you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. So he knows who his people are and they're going to be up with him. So he has to wait till all these people have been born um, so he, he can guide them to repentance and they can come to be with him. So kind of not on our time, but his time. <laughs> he knows and nobody else knows. Um, so the day of the Lord is going to come someday. So, you know, be ready when that day comes. Amen. Uh, please like and share this word so we can spread it throughout the world. Um, if you want to help me out, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to help me out even more, go to my Patreon page and become a patron. That's all for now. Until next time.